Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a Town Hall 11 video. We're talking about pretty much the only viable Town Hall 11 attack strategy for three-starring other Town Hall 11s, uh, but that being said, it's actually not that rare. I've seen quite a few of these attacks. Um, this is the first one I've been able to show, and uh, this is Smiler from Immoral Thieves taking on Mariana Trench. They actually had a random matchup earlier this week, and they're going against each other in the CWL uh, League this weekend, so obviously they can't reuse the same bases that were already three-starred, um, which allows me to be able to show quite a few of these, uh, these bases. You guys will see some Town Hall 10s in a video coming out a little bit later tonight, so that should be something to look forward to. But for today, we're taking a look at a Town Hall 11 attack. This is... Um, it follows a strict formula. Pretty much every Town Hall 11 three-star attack uses this strategy, and it does it in all a very similar way, like the same troops, pretty similar spells all around, so I can get pretty specific with how you want to go about uh, using this, uh, this strategy. Let's get right into it, though. You can see it definitely helps having those maxed out troops and heroes. His king isn't quite maxed, but the queen is maxed, and that's a little bit more important. The golem is the only other thing that's not max level, but that's uh, not that big of a deal. So right here, he's going to drop down that golem in the heroes. Basically, the goal of your kill squad, and he'll start that in just a moment, hopefully. Uh, the goal of your kill squad is to get in there, get the get three things. The one air defense, the defensive queen, and the CC troops. All, those are the only three things you need, which is surprising because you'd think you'd have to bite off a bigger chunk of the base. But um, that's all you need. Um, it definitely helps getting a few archer towers and other bonus type buildings like that. But the main three things are the queen, the CC troops, and the uh, the one air defense. You don't need the inferno. You don't need the eagle. Um, and then from there, you're using all your spells pretty much. Yeah, actually all your spells. The warden and the rest of your troops to take out the rest of the base. So you can see uh, Smiler here has the clone spell, which is pretty much a essential for this attack strategy. We see it pretty much every time, which is surprising because the clone spell doesn't really have any other applications, but it works very well for this composition. So basically you drop those two Lava Hounds, uh, just like Smiler does right there in that first air defense, a few balloons. The haste are good for the initial uh, propelling the balloons into the base. They're good for the, kind of the beginning of the attack. So you can see he drops down the haste. The warden comes down as well. Make sure your warden's on uh, air mode, obviously. He's flying. That definitely helps. Lava Hounds just kind of making their way through. Um, and there's the clone spell. You want to drop it right in the middle of the base as that big group of balloons is cutting across the middle. That's where you want to clone your balloons. You get like an extra eight balloons, which is awesome. I'm not sure that's the exact number, but you get like seven or eight balloons. So it uh, definitely helps. And you can see how late he's saving that Warden's ability. Um, he still has it. And you want to save the Warden's ability towards the end because that's when the Lava Hounds pop. That's when you need the balloons to get that uh, invincibility for a few seconds because the balloons will go down very quickly to max defenses, especially in air defense, if there's no Lava Hounds tanking, which typically the Lava Hounds will be toast by the end of the attack. So you want to save that Warden's ability as late as you can. And uh, it was, you know, that last Rage and Heal, it was questionable whether he even needed them. So pretty much crushed this base. Um, spells are important. Those are the... Um, things you want to keep in mind as far as kind of the number you're bringing and you actually don't bring many rages typically you just need the haste you don't need that extra uh that extra damage for those level seven balloons especially when they're in big groups so you want to bring haste spells you know four or five of those to move the through the move the balloons through at different points in the attack you want to bring the clone spell of course for the middle of the attack right as the balloons are about halfway through they're cutting across the middle of the base Going on to that next Inferno, typically, or the Eagle, or whatever, you want to clone the balloons right there. Make sure you don't clone a Lava Hound. That's typically not the best idea. Try to clone only the balloons. And then a Heal Spell, not necessarily needed. The Rage, not necessarily needed. But you have room to bring what you want. Some people bring a Freeze for that first Inferno. It's pretty much your choice. So uh, that'll pretty much do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is the basic uh, kind of layout of the attack strategy, but like I said, pretty much every Town Hall 11 three-star attempt uses this strategy and uses it very specifically in terms of that small kill squad, then the big uh, La Loon with the clone spell, the haste. It's a pretty strict formula. So if you can replicate this, you can you know be successful. Uh, if you can clone it, I guess would be the pun. 
uh, I could have thought of right there. If you can clone the success from this strategy into your own attacks, uh, you can win some wars with this. And I think Town Hall 11 is possibly becoming um, a Town Hall level that we start to see maybe some regular three stars, maybe one out of every three Town Hall 11s gets three starred. We're not quite there yet, but um, I think Town Hall 11 is changing. I plan on doing an attack meta video just talking about um, how the game is right now, as well as maybe a video talking about changes we need to see. I want to kind of analyze the game right now because I think it's very, um, it's in a different place than we thought it would be, than I thought it would be at least. And I think it's worth commenting on and talking about what's working, what's not, all that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure the Town Hall 11s in your clans uh, know to check this out. It should be pretty helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video by Sectatron out.